Nice one. And Dev. Feisty. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo with you. So, maybe third time is the charm. It's the third day I'm coming with the Caesar Castex. Trying to discunk it. Let's see if today it's the day. I see a lot of small fish. Two or three big ones. I have something on my back pocket. If I need to go after the small ones. But today it will be firstly the usual deal of letting the lure drift. The other days that I skunked, one was on the winter and the other one was two days before this video. And I think it was because I was using too big and too heavy of lures because I was breaking in the reel and I just flushed the bearings right before I recorded this video. It really helped a lot with the casting of like four and three gram lures and now I have no problems. Oh, something is on. Nice, they are hungry and it's Kristen. So after spending like three hours fishing with no bites whatsoever, I just caught the fish on my first five minutes, like second cast. And it's not a bad one. A little chub. Bye little fella. So, Caesar Castex is Kristen on a weird way. There's a spot over there under the pipe where the lure will work itself on the current. Right now, he's cranking on the same spot and he's moving around. I think that's what triggered the, that shop to bite. So I just saw some fish going down the creek and I followed them, went on the water pipe. The water polarity was very, very good. And I worked my crankbait. Now it's starting to get a bit windy. I don't want my allure to go too near that side because I already lost one there. And I really like it because it was a jointed crankbait. It was the Ikiro by Spro and it just buried itself on the roots on the left side of the creek. But now I'm working my best legend and... Ooh, nice one! And there! Feisty! I'm not playing games today, sorry buddy. No drag for you. Can I flip it? It's not that big. And it's the second one. A little bit bigger. The weird part is the smaller ones are smashing it today, so another one I will take it, second one, oh, what the f*** did he eat? bye. But, I have to say it, they fight better than the big ones. So, I'm catching, not switching tactics. Uh, a bit of a overrun. It's... <laughs> even though it's cheap, it's the last flim... It's not flimsy, also it's not ultralight, so they can build it a little bit tougher. But I really like the design on this reel, that attention to detail. 
for this price point it's unparalleled this can be a good starting point if you are going after bass because you will have no problems shooting crankbaits like the one that I have which is small enough to be considered it ultralight it's I think 4 grams oh almost on the end of my school time to reel it in uh, <clears throat> as I was saying this is very cheap you can get this combo for like $40 and you will cast everything until 8 grams which means you have access to all the type of, of lures that you want shatter baits, jigs, smaller ones though but still top water, cranks, poppers bladed lures, va vib uh, the ones that you use on the winter, the ah no, my favorite lure. Look at that huge fish over there. It's a barbell. Oh. I managed to unsnag it. And after this the fishing slowed down, so I'm just showing a clip of a previous day of me casting the cast X around, still with the best legends crankbait which is around 4 grams. Not bad, I'm getting side winds. So, nice couple of meters. And even with the crosswinds I'm average I reckon about 25 to 30 meters per cast uh, I'm being overzealous on the braking it you the overspill that you see it sorts itself out on the current or just uh, after a couple of seconds uh, as the lure enters the, at the water I'm not really having to do too much it's just plug and play I can tell you that flushing the the bearings helped a lot because it's a lot looser I just put a bit of um, very 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 light oil on it and it's casting like a charm this Thirty-eight millimeter. I will try to make a cast downwind. Very nice. As it should be. Even though this is a cheap reel, the casting abilities are very very good and I could not finish the day without an ultra snag. So this is me pulling a snag and directly on the tree. Never seen it again. Nice. Yeah, nice indeed. So this is the end of the session. Today I managed to catch two fish on the Caesar cast X. Uh, it's the third time that I'm fishing with this reel. Uh, actually, it's the first time I'm fishing with this reel because the first two times I blanked. I don't have footage from the first time. On the first time I have the, um, the original handle and I didn't have flush the bearings. I can tell you uh, that the bearings work way better after they are being flushed because they had too much grease. And for that you have a lot of videos online. I, as I'm a savage, I just drench mine on pink thinner to take all the grease and then drench it again in light oil let it let them sit there for some time take it out put it in the reel and that's about it and I swapped the handle because this one was I think under three dollars on Aliexpress and I saved six grams it went from 22 to six, uh, 16 grams on the handle and the handle it, it works well for the price so for three euros you get a carbon fiber handle I had this pair with the original Delicacy, 
this is a wheel that I will maybe get another rod for this wheel and this will be my bass and chandler rod and I will get rid from my Symphony and my probably the Sick Knight Red Fox I really didn't like that um, combo uh, not because it doesn't work because it worked but it's just too heavy for me even when I was going after Chandler also blank in Doro uh, I don't really like that heavy of, of, of stuff I really like light fishing BFS and uh, ultralight and super ultralight it's very easy on my wrists my, my fingers and my shoulders so I'll be keeping this wheel probably getting a light casting rod for it like 3 to 12 to 15 grams not I'll be throwing something that heavy but I just want a bit of a heavier rod for this wheel and this will be staying with me because I really like it I really like the top design as I show it on the unboxing side plate will not come off the wheel it's very very solid I know it's it's more weight than the other wheels that I have but overall this is a very very good wheel for the price and until my next video I will see you guys next time bye